Let's go get that copper. but uh, sorry do we want the lock on? inside. I heard them rattling around when I got it from the store, but I didn't double check. Looky there. It's got the nice hinges. Holds it up on its own. Now the hardware. than I thought. But we got some, it comes with some nice instructions. So I'll go through the instructions and then uh, proceed to clamper in. It's a sports rack. Got it from Canadian Tire. I'll go in and uh, bullshit with Calvin and read the instructions a little bit here. Here's the instruction in case you want to get one and put one on yourself. See what it's like. Basically, it's got all the um, hardware. Shows you how to connect it. Card. But I'll just show you how we put this together. One bolt in there. Slide another one in. Obviously, this goes underneath the railing of the vehicle. Then you got a plate that goes on underneath the carrier flat plate inside the carrier goes on and you tighten her down with these uh, wing nuts seems pretty straightforward the GoPro is giving me trouble I don't know why something to do with the SD card but I'll just show you how we put this together one bolt in there slide another one in Obviously this goes underneath the railing of the vehicle. Then you got a plate that goes on underneath the carrier. Then a flat plate inside the carrier. Goes on. And you tighten her down with these uh, wing nuts. Seems pretty straightforward. So, we'll move up there and uh, start putting it in place. Just got to measure make sure I got it exactly where I want it. Okay, let's put the first one in. When you're doing it, just got to make sure you measure See on mine, bad, you can adjust the cross members, whatever space you want them. So each band will be a little different, obviously. So mine is going to be 15 and a half on the back, 13 and a half on the front, and centered on that black line here, we got a little runner. It's going to work. And I wanted it far enough back so 
when the wind coming up the van, eh, it's going to hopefully shoot right over the carrier, better on fuel economy. But one thing you got to be careful of is that your back door, when you open it up, that it does not, no way is it going to contact the carrier. Some people, if they put it back too far, it hits, it'll hit the carrier, right? And you don't want that. So, so far, so good. We'll get her all clamped up and then I'll show you how it looks. Okay, this side's a little trickier where the, where it opens up, you can't reach over to get the, the end on, the wing nut. So you're just gonna block it with a piece of wood to hold it up through the hole. And we can come around. I guess uh, if you had two people, it'd be a lot easier too, but I like to stay pretty independent if I can. So we'll just come around, reach over and get it started easy. There we go. And now it won't uh, fall apart while you're putting the rest together. Here yeah, we got it on, got them all in place, Look at this. and see how it looks from the front, measured it up so it should be center, looks good there, it's going to be good there, and from the back, looks good, I'm going to align mine with the piece of plywood or something and a piece of rug just to give it a little more strength on the bottom but it's going to give me a ton more room put stuff that I don't need inside thanks for watching catch you on the next one